Hi everyone, Kathy Beltran with Wings and Whispers. Welcome back to the channel. We are starting um, step 12 and this is us trying to put our pieces together. We will mainly be working with our two bottom pieces. The top piece you can put to the side. That will be for another step. Um, we will be working with a drill with a jewel bit. It really doesn't matter their size. I, I don't even know what size this is. It's just big enough for what I need to do here. You will have, um, if you have an all punch, that would be something you might want to do. If you just have a screwdriver, you could use that as well. Needle nose pliers. I pretty much use this if I need to pull on some wiring or just to cut the, the wire, which we're going to be using picture hanger wire. And you could find this in, you know, the stores. And obviously I just grabbed one. I mean, it's all by weight. Actually, this one, I probably didn't need to use the 50 pound um, wire, but I can still use it. Um, so what you're going to want to do is absolutely protect your service surface. I actually have a piece of wood here. So when I drill in, I am going to just hit the wood. Um, so you're going to want to make sure your two pieces are lined up. Obviously, the center lines don't have to match up, so don't worry about that. You just want to make sure it naturally sits perfectly there and kind of hold on it. So what I've done was I've drilled two holes both through both layers, and you'll have to do one at a time, and you really have to keep it in place and hold it, put it, make sure it's underneath the wood, and put it through. And make sure it comes to the back side and then go up and down just to give it some more room. It doesn't have to be pretty because we're going to paper mache these areas. And I've done another one. I made sure I lined it up with the feathers. I believe I'm at one, one, two, three, four, on the fifth feather from the center on both sides. And I won't do it on a ridge line. I'll do it on, on um, one side of the feather. And so then I need to also make two more holes and I probably place them maybe half an inch to an inch apart. Again, not hitting a feather ridge line. And did, so I have a total of four holes, two next to each other on that side and two on this side. And so what I did was, um, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to have a place to have the wire hang so that we can hang on the wall somewhere so you just want to make sure to try to line it up as best as you can so what I did was I didn't actually didn't even cut the wire I just kind of strung it through and I started from the back on the first hole on the top of the, the neck and arch area pushed it through and then pushed it through the other side on the far um, hole and then from there, I left it, and then I cut my my wire to see how much I would need. Because what you want to do is you want to, once it comes up, you're going to bring this wire back down this way, and it can get difficult. So you want to lift up. You don't want to tighten everything down yet, and try to get it through that one hole, which I did. And now I've got to try to get it through the other hole. So I will be pushing that wire together and winding it back up and then pushing it through. And this will be the challenging part of making sure it gets through there. So you'll be doing lots of flipping. And so the all punch comes in because I might have to clear that area more. And straighten out my wire. And hopefully I can get it through. And obviously I'm not going to. If the wire has come apart, I will push through again this way and really give it a good push and wiggle it around. Take your wire, wind it back up because that's what's stopping it. And then see if you can get it through. And I got it. So I will flip it around 
I've already done this side and I want to really tighten things up now. I'm not worried about how this looks because we're going to completely paper mache over this stuff. And so I will tightly wind it. And keep doing that until it's secure. And you definitely want to just keep winding around. And that is pretty much your step 12. So I can use the needle nose pliers and cut the wire off here. I will make sure to tighten it up because you don't want it to be loose. And so what you'll end up having is this piece already in place. And your top piece, we're not going to worry about that because as long as it lays flat in certain areas, with the sculpting and the paper mache that we're going to be adding all up in here anyway, it's going to keep it together. But we can also come back in and do some, um, use a glue gun and get it on here while we, as we start to do this process. So at this point, I am ready to continue on to the next step of getting this piece on and starting the sculpting process. So that is it, you guys. Um, let me know how many... With my piece, it's pretty big and it's pretty heavy since I use double wall cardboard. So if you need to do this step, that's up to you. You still want to be able to hang it up because of this. It's not going to sit up on a wall flat it's, or on a shelf. It's going to wobble. So you're going to want to find something to do to hang this up um, to be able to be able to have it hang up. So um, that's what I would recommend. You might not just want to super... Um, hot glue everything together because you're definitely going to need to hang it so think on that but this would be the easiest step that I do and I will see you guys in the next episode and next step